Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts. Guys, the newest episode of Arrow, Arrow Season 4, Episode 13, Sins of the Father, just finished airing on TV. Now I'm here to review slash just talk about the episode. If you've not seen the newest episode of Arrow, Sins of the Father, click away now. I'm getting into spoilers. I will ruin the episode for you. Click away now if you've not seen Arrow, Sins of the Father, the newest episode of Arrow. Are you gone? Are you gone? Okay, let's jump into the episode, guys. So the first thing I do want to talk about is actually the ending of the episode because Malcolm Merlin drops a humongous bomb to Damian Dark, basically telling him, I know who Oliver cares about most. Oliver doesn't care most about Felicity. That, that's, that's a big one, you know? Because, like, you, know, you know that girl, you know Damian Dark? You know that girl that you shot up and all that kind of stuff in the mid-season finale? That's not who he cares about most. It's actually his son in Central City. Boom! Bombs drop. Now, you knew this was going to be a plot device at some point, but the fact that Malcolm Merlin tells Damien Dark, now through the events of the episode, it makes sense why Malcolm is a huge douchebag, but really? Really? You're the one to drop the bomb. You would have thought that Damien Dark, through his organization with Hive, you think he would find out Oliver Queen has a son and we could use this? No, it has to be Damien Dark who tells him, so... There is that. That's how they ended the episode. At first, I'm like, they're going to end it on a sweet note. There's not going to be any build-up to anything. And all of a sudden, boom, bomb drop. He has a son. That's who he cares about most. Okay, Malcolm, I see what you're doing. I don't know how he's going to come back from this. I'm assuming Oliver's probably going to kill Malcolm after this. I mean, this is this is not good. This is turning out not to be very, very good, and it hasn't even started yet. So anyways, that was a huge bomb, and I was uh, quite shocked by that. So let's, start, let's go off into the second thing, which of course is the big part of the episode, which was Nyssa versus Malcolm, a.k.a. Raj, Ray Sagal, however you want to pronounce it. And what was set up at the last episode, at the very end, was that Oliver, I want you to kill Malcolm Merlin. That's what Nissa said. This whole entire episode is the back and forth between, well, Malcolm, uh, Malcolm's like, yeah, Nissa, I'll meet with you. You know, I'll give you the ring in exchange for the Lotus thing that will counter effect the uh, Lazarus Pit effects on my daughter, Thea. And then as, as he's about to give her the ring, he puts the ring back on and they get into a little fight and then Nissa's side and Ra and then Malcolm's side. I just call him Malcolm. And they they go at each other and all this kind of stuff and they're fighting or whatever. And that doesn't go over. And so Malcolm is like meeting Thea after this whole situation where he basically betrayed Oliver and said, I'm going to give the ring up, and he doesn't do it. And then they have a little plan uh, up on the rooftop where, you know, Nissa was going to actually fight Malcolm. And then Nissa's been saying that, I, I, I can't beat him. I can't beat him. Oliver, you have to. And Oliver's like, no, no, no. And then when they're on the rooftop, Oliver's like, well, I mean, I am your husband, Nissa. Because uh, they, they mentioned that multiple times in this episode. For some reason, they really pushed hard on the fact that, well, uh, I, I, I'm Nissa, and my, my husband is Oliver Queen, you know, because uh, in season three, we got married, so he's my husband. She kept repeating that, and I'm like, ah, okay, we get it. You're married to Oliver Queen. I understand, but you're, you're beating it over the head, and the reason why they did, I think, personally, is because the whole thing where Oliver walks up on the rooftop and interrupts the fighting between Malcolm and Nyssa and goes, um, well, I'm her husband, so I have the right to defend her in battle. And then they, then Oliver, obviously Oliver and Malcolm get into a fight, which I think was planned, obviously how the outcomes turn out. And instead of him killing Malcolm, which he took down Malcolm pretty easily, but I think that the plan was that, so Malcolm didn't really put up a huge fight. Cause I really think there's no way Oliver could take down you know, the Dark Archer, Malcolm Merlin, Raj Zagul, Ray Shagul, however you want to pronounce it, that quick, and it just happens. And instead of just stabbing him, which I thought was going to happen, he cuts his hand off that has the ring on it. And I'm like, oh, so he lost his hand. Or is it a fake hand? Nope, it was his actual hand. He lost his actual hand in this whole situation. So... With that, okay, well, I can kind of see that was this is a whole plan thing, but then it turns into a lot worse. So Nissa becomes uh, the demon's head, Razagul, Reshagul, however you want to pronounce it once again. And she asks uh, Oliver, Laurel, and then Malcolm Merlin to come meet her. And then she takes off the ring and just burns it. And then it just melts in the fire and says, I disbanded the league. Um, there's no more league. And then that's when Malcolm loses his shit. And then that's what leads us to the actual ending, which we saw at the very end of this episode. Him saying, uh, I'm not going to kill you, Oliver, but I'm going to fuck you over pretty bad. Language, but it, that's basically what it was. I'm going to fuck you over, Oliver, because you screwed this up. So I'm going to go tell Damien Dark 
who your son is, and probably where to find him, and you can use this against Oliver Queen, a.k.a. the Arrow Vigilante Green Arrow. You can use this against him. And so, there is that. That was a huge plot line. There was a couple uh, times where I was getting, like I, was, like I said earlier, a little annoyed that Nissa kept repeating, well, Oliver's my husband. We get it. And um, some of the moments where... And like Malcolm's like at the very beginning when he was going to go meet Nissa, that, that first interaction. And he's like, I'll give her the ring for the Lotus, which obviously he doesn't give her the ring at all. Um, I knew that wasn't going to happen. I knew he wasn't just going to give her the ring 20 minutes into the episode. It's not going to happen that way. So I kind of saw that coming a little bit. So that's kind of an issue. Um, and then also, uh, obviously the other father issue that we had in this episode next up is Felicity and her dad, Papa Smoke, as I like to, to, to coin the phrase. We have Mama Smoke, now we have Papa Smoke. So, he basically drops a bomb at the very beginning of the episode to Felicity over coffee, over dinner, or whatever they're having in this restaurant, saying, I know who you are, Overwatch. Dun, dun, dun! And then, obviously, she wants to leave, and he's like, I I'm just like you, I, I don't do anything too bad, I, wa I want to prove that I'm, I'm a good father, and all this kind of stuff. And so, she says, well, I probably shouldn't believe him, but I want to give him a chance. I want to give him a test to see if my father is actually good or not. So she gives him an unsupervised free access to Palmer Technologies or whatever to the building that she's president of, essentially. And he basically leaves a device that is supposed to be like, tracking or supposed to be like you know uh, stealing information something like that basically a very bad device and leaves it and she finds it and so she ends up at the end of the episode when he pops up back in her office and then she just says you know we're not alike and then there comes officer lance walking in with the police officers and they handcuff him and take him to jail I'm assuming this is not the end of this arc. I'm assuming he's going to pop back up eventually. Like, he's going to break out of jail for some reason. And then that's going to uh, bring back that storyline there. And then, obviously, let's talk a little bit about the fact that Thea is all okay. Because the Lotus thing worked. Now, when I first heard about the Lotus in the previous episode, they were like, well, I have this thing that could cure, you know, the effects of the Lazarus Pit on your sister, Oliver. I have it. I was thinking, well, is it actually going to work? Because like they, they gave her a little bit of a test to see if it would actually work, and it did. And so far, we don't know because we didn't get a lot of, to view a lot of it. We don't know for sure if this Lotus thing is fully effective, like if it will last forever. I don't know. We'll see because I guarantee that if it's not successful and her bloodlust comes back after a certain bit of time after taking this potion, this Lotus thing or whatever... Oliver is going to go after Nyssa. I'm going to go after his wife in the league. Well, they're not the league anymore. But you get my point. He's going to go after her. So there you have it, guys. That is my review of this episode. It was a jam-packed episode with the father, with Papa Smoke and Felicity. We also had Oliver dealing with the fact that Malcolm and Nyssa want to kill each other. And there was a lot of really cool fighting and all that kind of stuff. And there's fighting in the streets. We finally get to see uh, all, uh, Officer Lance for a little bit in this episode. So overall, it was a pretty good episode. I really enjoyed it. And I can't wait for next week's episode to see where they take the, the, the Oliver Sun story. And honestly, at this point, it's just waiting to see more teases for uh, the grave scene and more teases for um, when will Felicity find out Oliver has a son? Because that hasn't happened yet. So we'll see. There you have it, guys. That's my review. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.